turn to verse number 52 of Surah Al-Muddathir. I want to give you a glimpse of what the Prophet had to undergo. And when I say that the Prophet is, you know, sitting in Gharhira, and he's got the most abominable people, he's got the most, he's got the people who are the most cruel and hard-hearted, it goes further. You won't believe how the Quran captures the internal states of these people. Turn to verse number 52. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes about these people the following. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bal yuridu kullum ri'im minhum an yu'ta suhufan munashara. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Nay, every one of them desires that he be given multiple pages of revelation. These people of Quraysh imagined that they, in their pomp and their wealth and their power and their family size, they deserved to be prophets of God. When we ask what was threatening Abu Sufyan, what threatened Umayyah bin Khalaf, not only did they feel that their wealth and their slaves and their authority and their position was threatened. And this is why they made up so many false arguments about the Prophet and lies against the Prophet But in their vanity, they looked at the Prophet and said, why should he be the Prophet of Allah? We should be receiving revelation. Aren't we the greatest people of the Quraysh? Aren't we the ones who are the heads of the Quraysh? If anyone from the Quraysh deserves prophethood, messengership, the Quran to be revealed, it is us. This is what the Prophet faced. This is what Surah Al-Muddathir captures as its theme.